Welcome back to my channel, Recovering Your Health with Nutrition. And if this is your first time, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Ife and I'm a licensed family nurse practitioner. Preventative medicine is my passion and here we talk all things health and wellness. In addition, my goal is to help close the healthcare disparity gap. And one way of doing it is to help you become informed consumers, more specifically in this case, informed patients. So today is the first part of my video series on labs and I'm so excited to talk about labs. Most likely we all have had labs at one time or another. And if you were like me, before I entered the medical field, it all seemed like a foreign language. Pretty much when I would get my lab results, I would hope that everything would be normal. And if not, I would look for the values in red or the values with the big capital H for high or the capital L for low. And if anything was out of range, I would freak out for a moment or two and then just hope for the best. But I never really understood what they meant. So I want to help you understand your lab report. Now, this information should not take the place of a personal discussion with your own provider regarding your results. However, I do hope that it will serve as a guide and help you formulate your questions for your provider when you do meet. So there are so many lab values that we collect in the basic wellness exam. So I'm gonna focus on a few at a time, not to overwhelm you. Today, we will discuss lab values that give us insight on how well our kidneys are working. Did you know that one out of seven people will develop kidney disease? But the stats are even more staggering for those of us with hypertension. One out of every five individuals with hypertension will develop kidney disease. So what does this tell us? More than 70% of those with kidney disease developed it secondary to having diabetes and or hypertension. So what else does this tell us? This tells us that we can change the statistics if we change the way we eat. Now how empowering is that? Most people do not have symptoms of kidney disease until just before their kidneys are about to fail. So I wanna say that again. Most people do not have symptoms of kidney disease until just before their kidneys are about to fail. So going in for your routine blood tests will help you stay aware of how well your kidneys are doing and if you need to make changes in your diet, it will alert you. So you have to go in for your wellness visits. Don't be afraid. Go in for your wellness visits. If it's been a long time, um, just, just, go, just go in. Just go in. It's better to know so that you can make changes than not know and face the consequences later. So the labs that we'll review today are related to kidney function. Um, they're the BUN, the creatinine, the albumin to creatinine ratio, and the GFR. Okay, so first let's talk BUN. This stands for blood urea nitrogen level. BUN measures the amount of nitrogen in your blood that comes from the waste product urea. Urea is made when protein is broken down in our bodies and our liver is the site where protein is broken down. One of the byproducts of this process of uh, protein metabolism in our liver is ammonia, which can be very toxic to the body. So our liver converts this ammonia to urea. Then the liver releases the urea to the blood and then our kidneys excrete it into our urine. If your kidneys are not able to remove urea from your blood through proper filtration, then it can result in higher levels of BUN on your lab report. There are other causes of elevated BUN as well, such as heart failure or dehydration. Both of these conditions can cause lower blood flow to the kidneys. So if you have lower blood flow to, to the kidneys, then you're gonna have lower excretion, obviously, of urea. Also, if you have a GI bleed, um, that can be one cause for an elevated BUN and excessive protein in your diet as well. So one tip to remember before you go in um, for your labs, about 24 hours before, just reduce the intake of um, protein. So if you're prone to working out and you're getting in that extra protein shake or two, plus um, having that um, yummy ribeye steak or whatever else, you know, a dozen of eggs, whatever else you're eating, the day before you go in for your um, routine labs, you wanna reduce your protein intake so that your BUN levels can be more reflective of what's really going on in your body. So if you have liver disease or liver damage, this can cause you to have lower 
for you in levels. Because remember, um, protein is broken down in our liver and urea is a, by a byproduct of that process which occurs in the liver. So other factors like malnutrition, low protein in your diets, or overhydration, or severe muscle injury may also result in low BUN levels, even pregnancy as well. Okay, so creatinine. Creatinine is another blood test that's done that may give insight on your kidney function. So what's creatinine? Creatinine is a byproduct of a chemical compound called creatine. Creatinine is filtered out of the blood by the kidneys and again removed from the body in our urine. Creatinine is a waste product from the digestion of dietary protein and normal breakdown of muscle tissue. Creatinine levels can also be affected by the things that we eat, our muscle mass, malnutrition, and other chronic illnesses. Creatinine levels for adult males are higher than adult females because males typically have more muscle mass than females. So if you're comparing your lab results, um, and let's say you're a female and you're comparing your lab results to a male and you realize that their, their range is a little more, um, they have a little higher range than yours, it's because muscle mass is taken into consideration. Now both BUN and creatinine can give insight on how well your kidneys are functioning, but the best two tests to determine kidney functions are the ACR, or albumin creatinine ratio, um, or, and, excuse me, the GFR, the glomerular filtration rate. The ACR is a urine test and it is looking for protein in your urine. Protein should be in your blood, but not in your urine. If you have protein in your urine, then this could mean that your kidneys are not filtering your blood as well as it should be, and this test will most likely be repeated if you were found to have protein um, in your urine. So lastly, and one of the most telling signs of how well your kidneys are doing is the GFR, or the glomerular filtration rate. So your kidneys filter your blood by removing waste and extra water to make urine. The GFR shows how well your kidneys are filtering. So GFR is a complicated process. So uh, we health providers use a formula that gives us an estimated value. So therefore, you'll see on your lab reports the E GFR, and that E stands for an estimate. So from the estimated glomerular filtration rate, we can actually stage which stage of kidney disease you may have if kidney uh, damage is present. And so there's five stages, stage one to stage five, and stage five being the worst, indicating that you most likely need um, dialysis. You may have noticed that on your laboratory report, it includes African-American and non-African-American results. Race was originally included in the EGFR calculations because clinical trials demonstrated that people who identified as black or African-Americans had on average a higher level of creatinine in their blood. And this was thought to be due to muscle mass, diet, and the way that um, the kidneys eliminated creatinine. Um, a patient's race is not always used when lab tests are ordered, so both calculations for non-African Americans and African Americans are oftentimes included on the lab report, so that's why you'll probably see both values. However, the use of race has been a subject of debate because, and I quote, and I'm quoting the National Kidney Foundation, race is not a biological concept, but it is a social construct, and I happen to agree with that. In order to further evaluate this process, a joint task force was formed last year in 2020 between the National Kidney Foundation and the American Society of Nephrology. And as of September 23rd, um, the task force announced a new race-free calculation for estimating GFR. So this is hot off the press. September 23rd, 2021, there is a new calculation that's race-free. So the National Kidney Foundation is working with labs across the nation to incorporate this new calculation process and working on getting guidance out to health care providers that will help us figure out the impact that it will have for our patients. So soon you will not see the uh, two different uh, GFR calculations on your lab reports. So if you haven't already done so, please like, share, 
comment and subscribe to my channel. I will be doing a video related to diet and kidney disease. So um, those of you that already have been diagnosed with kidney disease, uh, can damage on whatever stage that you're in. There are things that we can do. There are foods that we can eat. There is a way that we can eat to help um, prevent further kidney damage. So there are major complications that can result from having kidney disease. Elevated phosphorus levels are one of them. There's foods that are high in phosphorus levels and the, the, the thing about that is the food industry is not required to list the amount of phosphorus on the labels. And so we, um, we're gonna discuss that in more detail in, in my video on diet and kidney disease, okay? Metabolic acidosis is another complication which simply means that there's too much acid in your blood and there's foods that are very acidic. Um, and uh, studies show that fruits and vegetables have an alkalizing effect on the blood, on our health, and can help to halt, slow down kidney damage. Oftentimes when patients have metabolic acidosis, they're, giving, they're given um, a sodium bicarbonate pill or bacon soda, right? to combat the acid that's um, the acid level that's in the blood but there are randomized trials multiple uh, randomized trials that show the effects of fruits and vegetables on kidney disease the positive effects on kidney disease so i want you to stay tuned if you found any value in my video please 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 again like comment subscribe and share and until next time stay well thank you Thank you.